There are three different way of uh, defining uh, like packet filtering and uh, application level gateway and uh, your uh, TCP three hand way three way handshake. Okay. So if you see the packet uh, in the packet filtering tab, you see it is only work at layer three to layer four, right? right. It does right. not go above that. Right. So if right. you see that it's only working on the layer three and layer four port and based on the ACLs and you need to define the ACL and both based on the routing right. engine at inbound and outbound, right? Right, right. So if any packet going to the source or the destination, it need to go, it need to be goes to uh, your <coughs> router and you need to define the ACL both on this, this side. And if uh, it means it is stateless, no connection table is maintained on the router, uh, right? So right. everything that you are need to be apply, you need to apply it on the both directions. Okay. Right. Right. That is packet filtering. When you talk right. about the application right. level gateway, okay. Uh, application level gateway is like you are working uh, from layer three to layer seven. Okay. Right. But right. their but but their major function is not layer three or layer seven, or you can say the routing. It has many functions like uh, no take about the knowledge of the different applications and how they work and based on that their uh, their application view they provide a security so that uh, the application works fine right so right. it is like application level uh, protocols or application level understanding of the devices so if if i can say let's say f5 f5 is one of the application level gateway because it understand the things and it can uh, protect the things based on the uh, protocols that we are working on right right Right, which means, uh, Praveen, you know, uh, can you call application gateways as a content switching as well? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, content switching in the sense, like, it is like w when you go for the differentiation between the, like, F5 and there is a other web application firewalls, right? So right. there's small difference, like, sometimes it is like content switching. There's just content switching is mostly on the HTTP and HTTPS part, right? Does not con consider the payload of FTP and all stuff. Right, but if you need to go for uh, like if you say content switching, it is mostly uh, on the HTTP and HTTPS protocol. Okay, when you say the application layer <coughs> firewall, it is like uh, it go for uh, like XML protocol, SOC level, uh, SOC web 2.0 type of things, and they analyze the protocol patterns and the and then see okay that traffic is legitimated or not. Right. So when you say F5, F5 is providing both type of uh, like uh, things. You can say that application level firewalls and the application level content switching things, but they need different modules within an F5 big IP, right? So if I say like if I, I'm doing only load balancing, I'm only using LTM. If I'm using application policy or you can say the policy based or like uh, application level sec security, then th we need a different modules like that is called ASM and IPM, right? So it is like so when you are combining anything like if you combining router and the application gateway in the same device it will not function as it is because like if you go every company having their own certificate or um, major strength like cisco if you go for it it has strength like routing and switching it does not have any strength for the application level th things right so because they do not you can say that uh, every product they need to be installed or being uh, being on the market they need uh, uh, they need a proper understanding and they need a dedication on the, their uh, invention, right? So <clears throat> F5 is like you can say that F5 providing application layer gateway and all stuff and there is multiple vendor like blue coat is also one of the application layer gateway. Okay, providing the features for the blue coat rules also. So when you say application layer gateway, it means you are doing the inspection and then uh, doing any traffic uh, change in the traffic behavior based on the application level uh, knowledge. So we says level two to level seven, it is working as an application layer gateways. When you talk about the stateful inspection, it is like we are doing. <clears throat> it is nothing related to a packet filtering and application gateway. If I say if a checkpoint or any firewall that comes with basic features, they are providing both type of things like packet filtering and application layer gateway. But what is stateful? It whatever the connection that they are any, allowing the connection from the firewall, they maintain the state connection so that the reply packet should. Uh, only we see the connection table does not go for the any ACLs uh, inspection again. Okay. Right, right, right. So when you say stateful inspection, any packet that comes from here and it suppose this is my firewall. Okay, it make a connection table entry near uh, their table and then send the packet to uh, destination. And if any 
packet that is replying it only check for the connection table does not go for the rule base again so it simply reply the uh, allow the packet because the, that information is uh, uh, in on their connection table and that is called your stateful inspection because they have some engine that is called inspection engine okay and the inspection engine is maintaining that that particular connection table and the connection table is having all the information like source ip source port if any uh, translated uh, uh, IP has been translated. It can have source port or you can say that's a destination port. So all the information that is related for any packet is, is has been uh, defined in the connection table. So the reply packet when it comes to it does not go for the any uh, uh, any other ACL checks. It only check the connection table and then pass done uh, pass on to the packet to the source of the destination. Okay. When you say okay, then why we are having? If I say why we are having that multiple uh, or you can say that different product for different things. Like we say, the like packet filter is having a router, right? Stateful inspection is uh, when we talk about we say about firewalls, and when we say application, we talk about firewall. Why would why don't we integrate all these in in one box? Right, right, right. Right. Okay. If I yes, yeah. Uh, any product that being uh, introduced by any company, they have some strength. Right, and the strength is like based on either they have the firewall feature strength or they have the application feature strength or they have the packet filtering strength. But for the functionality of any, uh, for for the for the functionality of anything in the enterprise level, you need to define uh, basic functionality also. So when you talk about the firewall, they integrated the feature of packet filtering because they need to go for the layer two to layer three interaction also. They also integrate some of the features for the application layer gateway so that they can inspect some of the protocol, but not all. Right. Okay. Integra integrated into the firewall, right? But when you say it's like uh, integrating, uh, when you say firewall, the major concept is only the connection table information, right? And they brought that information like packet filtering features, application gateway features. But you cannot come, you cannot say, okay, I implemented the firewall, and that also worked as the application layer gateways also, because their their function, their major functionality is doing the firewall, not doing the application layer gateway. But yes, for any application like user based authentication and all stuff. They need some kind of application layer gateway demos that should be running on the firewall so that they can see uh, how the protocols works and based on the protocol works working, they analyze the traffic and then based on the, that analyzing the traffic, they sense and uh, try to uh, modify or anything that need to be uh, done for working over that particular things, right? Right, right, got it. <clears throat> so when you say about a, a firewall, uh, Anything like whether it could be F5 and whether it could be firewall or anything when we're working with the application layer gateway by default when we say this is my client and this is my server. So I'm not placing any router or any device in between. So any communication between the client and server will be hands will be like any negotiation between the client and the server. Right? right. When you take the client and the server, if we are we are placing any device here, let's say firewall or any F5 device, it means you need to terminate that connection here then right. only it can analyze right? right otherwise it will not analyze that traffic right. so when we are looking for any application like application layer of stuff it means we need to terminate that connection on that particular device whether it could be f5 whether it could be blue code whether it could be checkpoint so when you're talking about application layer things it means we need to terminate that connection on the our firewall or device so that they can inspect and based on the inspection, they can allow whether that is legitimated traffic or whether that is not legitimated traffic. So if he says, in case of application layer things, we need to, the, the any device that is working, I'm not talking about the checkpoint, I'm just taking an example. Any application layer device, they need to be make two type of connection. One is from the client to F5 or any device, and another is from F5 to the server device. So that, because if, they are initiating any traffic and terminating their connection here. It means client sees this is my server. So anything that I'm uh, getting is getting from this. So let's say this is my HTTP server and I want to do an inspection <coughs> on my HTTP traffic. Based, if, if the client is making a direct connection to the server, then this device is some, simply relaying the information to the web server. They do not intercept and do not modify anything, right? If anything need to be modified or anything, anything we need to change the behavior, we need to terminate that connection. In that case, the any device that is working uh, in middle of the client and the server, they make a TCP handshake between these seven. So the client see, see this is my virtual, this is my server, and the server see okay, this is my client. So any connection that is required, they have some time here by the device with, uh, to modify and to scan the things uh, while sending the request to the web servers. 
right so when application layer gateway means it is like terminating the connection at itself and then make new connection to the servers okay so that it can it can get some time uh, to analyze that traffic and, and then uh, proceed for the actions right yeah got it got it so this is all about the difference between like application packet filtering application layer gateway stateful and that your application layer uh, how the application layer works